สวัสดีครับ Welcome to p u k e t Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Wednesday, April 24th, and I'm your host JP Misanta with the news you need to know. Just hours after the Phuket governor yesterday morning held a press conference to specifically explain that Phuket is not suffering a drought crisis, about 80 residents from Rasada staged a protest in front of Phuket Provincial Hall over the lack of water supply in their community. The residents massed in front of Phuket Provincial Hall at about 3 p.m. yesterday, shouting anti-governor slogans and carrying placards, heavily criticizing the local government in action. The residents are all from the Ua Aton housing estate for low-income earners in Rasada, and one of them told the Phuket News that more than a thousand people that live in the estate have not had mains water since March 21st, with all the money having already been used up to buy more water, and now they're demanding action. 35 minutes into the protest, Phuket Governor Pakapong Tawipat presented himself to the group, saying a meeting was being held to help solve the problem. Although repeating his message that Phuket is not suffering a drought, the governor is the only one in Phuket who can declare a drought crisis, which would allow the local government to use a special emergency emergency budget for water. But earlier this week, officials say they are looking to secure deals to use private water sources for now. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. A family holiday turned tragic as a Royal Thai Air Force officer is being charged with murder after stomping his wife to death in front of their children in Rawai this week, as he suspected her of cheating. The family traveled to Phuket on Sunday for a holiday and were staying at a Rawai hotel, but just the next morning, Chelong police were, were called by hotel staff at about 8:30 a.m. only to find the mother unconscious on the ground. She later succumbed to her injuries at Bashira Phuket Hospital. Police say the 40-year-old husband explained that he became suspicious that his wife was cheating, and the argument escalated. He's now being charged with murder and will be tried in a military court. The children have been taken into care. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Authorities say they are closing in on the U.S. slash Thai couple accused of threatening national security after staying in a seastead floating home off Phuket, with Thai officials saying they were last traced to Tarutau Island. The commander of the 3rd Naval Area Command, which includes Phuket, says that the couple's actions of staying in the seastead and promoting the lifestyle, along with inviting others to join them, it's all affecting Thailand's national sovereignty, since they accuse the couple of claiming the seastead to be autonomous and not under Thai jurisdiction. The seastead is sat just 12 nautical miles from Thailand, about 42 kilometers south of Phuket, and police are already questioning several people involved and connected with building the six-meter-wide cabin and preparing charges against them, including the builder of the floating house. Meanwhile, the floating structure was dismantled on Monday, and most of its parts have already been taken to the Phuket Deep Seaport. Phuket Extra, I'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A kindergartner, a four-year-old little girl, was killed instantly when a wall at her local private school in Konkan Province collapsed right on top of her during a rainstorm on Monday evening, according to the Bangkok Post. The school had been open for summer courses when the tragedy struck at about 5:30 p.m. during a thunderstorm in Konkan on Monday. The four-year-old girl was killed when the storm shattered the concrete wall of the school building, with pieces falling three stories and onto the girl, along with two teachers, two other students, and a parent who were in the hall at the time. Four people were hurt in the incident. The area is now cordoned off to the public, and the school is closed until further notice. After being allowed by the government to grow its own cannabis plants for research, Rangsi University in Bangkok is announcing the opening of the country's first research institute of medicinal cannabis, dedicated to improving strains and developing new drugs from them. The new medicinal cannabis research institute at Rangsi University is just the, the latest step in the government's 
growing acceptance of medicinal marijuana, with the university already having been allowed to grow its own cannabis plants to develop strains that would, quote, yield strong amounts of the psychoactive compound THC, but also the non-psychoactive CBD and CBN compounds renowned for their, heal, for their health benefits. The university has long been linked to the medicinal marijuana movement in Thailand, being the only university in Thailand to be allowed to study the plant for its medicinal properties, even developing an oral marijuana spray meant to be used to relieve pain for cancer patients. Raksit University is allowed to grow up to 50 cannabis plants, just enough for research but not meant for mass production, according to the university rector. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Visit us in Patong or Inc. in Asia.com.